everybody, my name is Kelly and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. In today's video, I wanted to talk about something that can cause a bit of confusion within the sewing community and that is Bimberg Rayon. So if you're new here, I make videos related to thrifting and DIY with sewing content being quite a bit of that because if I had an area of expertise, it would be sewing. However, I am constantly learning and I want to share what I learned with you guys, including this topic. Bimberg Rayon. So first things first, Bimberg Rayon is commonly thought of as a lining fabric exclusively. And if you search for Bimberg Rayon on Google, it will lead you to fabric retailers that have lists of different kinds of fabric. And when they talk about Bimberg Rayon, they will probably call it Bimberg Rayon lining specifically. And they'll always refer to it as if it's only a lining fabric. At least when I search through Google, that's what I found. And this isn't actually always the case. So Bimberg Rayon is actually just Rayon made by the JP Bimberg company, I believe. And Bimberg Rayons are a specific type of Rayon in that they are cuprimonious Rayon, but that is not specific to Bimberg. It's kind of like calling a jacuzzi a hot tub, like a jacuzzi is a hot tub, but all hot tubs are not jacuzzis. It's kind of the same thing. And if you've had experience with cupro or cupro Rayon, as well as ammonium silk, which is a very less commonly used term than Cupra or Cupra, those fabrics are all the same thing as Bimber Rayon. So when you think about just a general dressmaking fabric like Cupra Rayon, that's what some Bimberg fabrics can also be, but they can also be lining. Okay, hold up. I wanted to clear up a couple things. So first of all, it's Cupramonium Rayon, not Cupramonious. And from what I can tell, Bimberg is just a brand name of Cupro, which goes along with what I was saying, but I hadn't really put it in those words before. I also wanted to let you guys know that it looks like Cupro is made in a closed loop system, which is more similar to Tinsel and Lyocell than Rayon and Viscose. But the thing to keep in mind is that all of those fabrics that I just named are all Rayons. It's just that Tinsel, Lyocell, and apparently Cupro as well are all produced in a closed loop system, which means they're not nearly as bad for the environment as their siblings. So um, that's just good to keep in mind if you're trying to be more sustainable. I found that really interesting because I previously hadn't really talked about Cupro on my channel even though I've done some videos related to fiber content before. So that's just what I found from looking on a few different websites but if you have any knowledge about this and want to drop it down below that's great and if you have any questions that you want to leave down below feel free to ask those as well. And one last thing I want to say before continuing on with the video is that when I say dressmaking I just mean a general apparel fabric. I don't mean specifically for dresses but I know that that's another thing that causes confusion for people that are new to the sewing community. So let's get on to the rest of what I was saying. So I feel like that was a very long-winded way of explaining that. At the end of the day, Bimberg Rands can be either linings or dressmaking fabrics. And I would say that the linings are way silkier than the like regular dressmaking fabric. So I have a Bimberg Ray on here. This is from a Thrifty Notion. I will link the shop down below. I do work at a Thrifty Notion, just a disclaimer, but I'm not paid to talk about a Thrifty Notion in my videos. I just do it because I love what we do. We sell exclusively secondhand and dead stock fabric. So if you're like me and want to be more sustainable with your sewing, I would definitely check it out. So this fabric is a Bimberg Rayon, but it feels very similar to just a regular Rayon Chalet. The thing about Cupramonious Rayons, though, is that they are meant to feel slightly more like silk. So I'd say that's true of this fabric based on all the silks I felt and all the rayons I felt. I would say this does feel slightly more like silk than some other rayons. But unless you've had a ton of experience with a ton of different kinds of fabric, you probably won't know the difference. So this fabric does feel just like basically another rayon fabric if we're really getting down to the nuts and bolts of it. And Bimberg Rayon just refers to the company that produces it, but it's very similar to Cupra or Cupro Rayon. And that just has something to do with the way that the rayon is produced and the chemicals that it is produced in, as opposed to the chemicals that are used in the processing of some other types of rayon. So I hope that clears some things up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this style of video, please let me know down below. Give it a like, whatever you want to do. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then please consider subscribing. I'd also love it if you check me out on Instagram. I don't post very often, but if you want to keep up with some more behind the scenes stuff, um, maybe see some pictures of my cats, I would love to see you over there as well. And like I said, if you like this style of video, please let me know because I think I could do little short videos like this in addition to my normal weekly videos. I am trying to post every single Friday a bit a video that's like thrift related or DIY related um, I'm having trouble getting them out every single week at the moment just because my schedule is a little bit weird and Will and I are still figuring out where we're gonna be living but 
once I figure that out, I will be shooting to get a video out every Friday. And I would love to do a short little video like this in addition to those videos, maybe on a Wednesday. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, please let me know. And yeah, thanks again so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.